Hey guys, this is a uh, just a little continuation from part one here. Uh, we have a bypass for the radio we put in. This is so that I can connect to Bluetooth or um, you know play videos or whatever I want on the radio without actually having to pull the parking brake. Um, I didn't have it at the time, so I'm just gonna pull the radio real quick and uh, wire this up, and then we're gonna slide it back in. And then I got a bracket for that nameless uh, heat shield. So we're going to get that in. The previous owner took that out. So couldn't put the heat shield in until I got the bracket. So I had to order that, unfortunately, from the dealership because no one had it in stock locally or really anywhere else online. I couldn't find it. Um, so I had to go through the dealership. Wasn't too bad, though. So uh, we'll get this wired up real quick. And then we will work on getting that heat shield on. Alright, so once again, we are going to pull back on the plastic surround. Gently all the way around it. Until it starts coming loose. And then we have that out. Alright, so then we're going to undo our screws again. The sun will get out of the picture. And then... um. Slide this back, and then what you essentially do is wire up the parking brake, the remote wire, and the ground into this, and it bypasses the Bluetooth, apparently. So that's what we're going to do, then we're going to try it out. Alright, we uh, got it all wired up, put the radio back in. Um, instructions were very self-explanatory. I mean, they come with a little pack that has instructions. But, I mean, it comes with a black wire, a blue wire, and a green wire. The black wire is the ground that goes to the black wire behind the radio. Blue wire is the remote wire that goes to the blue wire behind the radio. And the green wire is the parking brake wire, which goes to, yes, the green wire behind the radio. So, you just connect it up. And now we are going to test it out to see if it works. Uh... Bluetooth. I have not paired this thing yet. So let's see if it is going to work. I have the parking brake down. It is down, so make sure my Bluetooth is on on my phone. Alright, well that is my phone. So we are going to and as you see, the parking brake is still down, so looks like it worked fine. All right, guys, I got my two brackets here. One is for the intercooler to go uh, from that hole back to down around here. And the other, this one here, is for the, uh, if I zoom in. Goes across those two bolts for the turbo uh, heat shield. So I need to get both of these in and then I'm going to try to undo this side of the intercooler and see if I can move it out of the way enough to get the heat shield down in there. And uh, if not, I'll have to take out a few more things, but uh, we'll see. Here, we're going to take those two off and uh, put this bracket here behind the uh, two nuts there. is now on the Sun will get out of my camera so now we're gonna get this one on that goes from here to down there all right well unfortunately it would not fit so I had to remove the intercooler once again and now I will be 
putting it in right there. bolts there and there's another one down at the bottom I'm gonna have to try to reach down there and get all right so that is bolted in place now we're going to put our other bracket this one here it comes down from there down see, to there so I'm gonna put this on then we're gonna put the intercooler back on bolt everything back up and we'll be good to go all right, so that's bolted in place. Now our intercooler is gonna mount here where I did not have a place to mount it on the side so it won't be shaking like it was. All right, so the intercooler is back in place. I just have to finish bolting everything back up. That's just shield and an intercooler bracket so that's what we're left with now all right guys I'm just going to uh, replace the uh, headlights and the 08 STI I uh, had one that was blown for you to go ahead and replace both of them so it looks like I need to get down into here I don't know if you can see that right there I have to remove the battery and then I'll have to get down in there on this side as well so we'll have to remove at least this and maybe part of the intake box so let me go ahead and get some pieces removed and then we will go from there <laughs> So if you can see down in here, I got that removed, these clips back down in here have to come, if I can get it, uh, right there, right there, you can see the little clip I'm moving, pull those off the bulb, and then you can pull the bulb out right here, and I have the new one back here with all my other junk got these from Dio Dynamics and I ended up going with the, uh, the 6k so that's what this is we're gonna pull this one out and go put this one back in its hole all right and now to get into this side we're gonna remove this here and pull this back so I can get down to this ballast. All right, so new bulb for this side. Go in there, I figured out the um, easiest way to do it is just to get the bulb in and then put the ballast on after that because you have to secure it with these little pins you see and it's really hard to get those in if you try to put the bulb in the ballast and then try to do it all at once. So uh, I'm gonna get the bulb in, then uh, I'm gonna secure it in there and uh, I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll put the ballast on. So now the bulb is in, it is clipped in. Like I said, if you try to put the ballast on first, eh, I tried it that way to begin with and you just, I mean, you might be able to do it. I couldn't. So this is the easiest way to me. I got the other side on much easier that way. And now you just put the ballast on, give it a little twist and uh, you'll be connected. And there it is, the ballast is on. Now all of them that's to do is put the cap back on it and uh, try to see how they look. Alright, and as you can see, and there's one headlight, two headlight. So uh, now I just gotta hook this back in, put the air induction back on, and uh, we'll be good to go for this. Hey guys, I know it's a uh, random assortment of videos, but I do appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully I'll have some more content for you soon got a few extra things to install uh, one being the EIG performance uh, 
air to oil separator so that'll be a nice long video by itself and not one of these three-part videos but um again thank you for watching and uh i'll see you next time so uh stay tuned in for whatever it is i'm getting out of breath doing next time thanks for watching Thank you.